Oh, hey, I'm going to do a quick video here on advanced modding troubleshooting for Bubble Viewer Station for Quest. So this is going to be when the mod folder isn't ready. So before you try to mod anything, always run the game first. Just run the game. You know, when you run the game, the game will make the folders under the slash files. So always run the game first, like for Bone Lab, Blade and Sorcery, usually that means getting through the tutorial level first. All right, and now we're gonna talk about modding information, which is available under local files. And then at the very bottom, there's an icon for modding information. And then when you're in modding information, it'll show you all the games that are currently installed on your headset. And there's three different possible states they can be in. Ready, that means the files are all there, you're good to go, no action required. Then user input needed. Now, for some games, they don't make the folders, which is kind of annoying. So if it's in this state, you might be able to fix it, but we'll go there in a minute. And then the last one is not ready. And then when the game is not ready, there's really not that much more we can do, but we'll get into that. So if user input is needed, then it will give you the option to make the mod folder. So you can click that link and then it will try to make the folder and then verify that the folder is there. So if the folder is there, it'll then become ready and you can use it. Now, if it failed, we'll need to look at the next slide. And then this is available for Pavlov, Ragnarok, and ADVR. All right, so if the game is not ready, really make sure that you ran the game first. And then what this typically means is you're not the admin of your device. So if you only have one account on your headset, then you will need to factory reset it and ensure your account is the admin when you reinstall everything. Now, if you have multiple accounts, probably the other account is the admin account. So let's go over some of these things. So if you have two accounts on your headset, then the admin account can use mobile VR station to install and erase mods. Now, you don't have to be the admin to use the mod. So your account or the admin account can both run Bone Lab, and then the mods that are installed in there will be seen by the game and then used. So if you do have the two accounts, the admin account can install stuff, the other account can play stuff. So that's in general how it should work. Thanks.